I will literally be high at 9 p.m. and be like, I have to cancel my 1 p.m. appointment for t- in two days because I'm not going to be able to make it. <laughs> I love that. I definitely have had moments where I'm like, I've really smoked myself stupid. And now I don't have any short term memory at all. Yeah. And drugs are bad. Yeah, they're kind of not Some good. Some are pretty great. Though. Yeah, but you know, yeah, but you know, true. I think it's. I don't think it's anything bad for any. I think, you know, it's person by person. I had someone with my car this morning. <laughs> okay. Did you see that um that 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 guy said that uh no members of parliament were fem- female members of parliament were trying to distract them by crossing and uncrossing their legs? No, when? I didn't see that. It was recently. Um uh, but what? but that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, in uh in the UK parliament. Ooh. Oh, and it, he UK. was he was saying I, I must have missed that episode. That, um, oh, you guys don't watch? <laughs> no, I I, I I don't know what you're talking. It's about. really heating up this season. He's talking about Bridgerton. No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was complaining. He was saying that uh, female members of Parliament should stay home, sure, and zoom in, or maybe I forget exactly what happened. But because he, but was, I keep yeah. crossing my legs. Who's he? A, a a UK member of Parliament. Oh oh oh, gotcha. You got to do the British voice. Oh, you know, the women got to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. The, so our show is very anti-British. Uh, we we won't we won't bring that hostility towards. That's on. fine. I, I do want to go on the record and say that I'm pretty pro. You're pro pro British. Pro British. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's hard. I'm I pro- tend to like the Brits. I'm pro accent. I love Bridgerton. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm pro wooden teeth. I just keep getting too many cavities. Oh, I want I, fake teeth. If I, I had a choice, I'd you take have great up. teeth. I have they, two. I have two fake teeth. Really? Yeah. Love them. I got them done, and I was like, do the whole mouth. Which ones yeah. are fake? You'll never know. I can pick them out. Huh. I don't think you could. I could pick them out of a lineup. I bet if you let me lick them, I could figure out which ones. Hot. You can't. Even <laughs> you, you'd never be able to figure it out. Huh? It's the two front ones, probably. No. No? Okay. But well, they're not veneers. Uh, they're just crowns. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Keep right, going. I Keep have going. five crowns. Oh, so you got fake teeth, too. <laughs> He's royalty over here. Yeah. What's the difference between a crown and a filling? A filling, you have a cavity, and there's like a little hole in the tooth, and they'll they'll fill it with like uh, cement. Know. Yeah, mm, yeah, and but uh, a crown is your tooth is too far gone. Uh, like, like my two, I cracked, oh, I cracked them, yeah, and they uh, they had to cap them. Well, Ben and Emil, this is Ben and Emil. Thank you so much for coming. Hi. It's really in our mindset. We, boys, we men, have, men, boys men, to men, boys to men. We have our, we have our, uh, 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 our sister, co- our, our, our sister, co- our sisters. podcasts, yeah. our sisters. We're the sisters. We're the spiritual cousins to um, oh, the Brooke and podcast. Connor. S- the sister podcast, sister if you will. Sister. We kind of cover the same kinds of things from. We talk about the same stuff from you crypto. Guys, you guys do like thinly veiled threats towards politicians. Yeah. Uh, that kind of stuff. Um, same show. I think also right. to take a step back, the TMG umbrella. Yes. Yes. There's the TMG umbrella, and we are under it. Little droplets of rain. We're all which some people like worry that we had left because we started our own channel. Uh, go subscribe to the right, YouTube.com/slash the Trillionaire Mindset. Always be plugging and always be plugging. And while we're plugging as a group, I'm going to plug individually and talk about our highlights channel. For oh, a you got to talk about the highlights. I've got to. Um, Brooke and Connor has a new highlights channel, and what you're going to find on there is pretty much the best. The best highlights, it's, if it's, you will, of I each think episode. More oh, digestible. More, it's smaller clips. Smaller clips. Fun editing. Fun editing. Fun editing. More, more colors. Kind of chaotic. Really, editing. really fun stuff. So I would recommend moving oh. forward with subscribing to the highlights channel. And that's going to go ahead and be located at Connor. You want to give us that? Yeah, that's going to be that on URL? our. It's going to be on our YouTube. YouTube.com slash Brooke and Connor Highlights. We'll, um, we'll see you there. And we'll see you there. Look at the fun thumbnails. Smash that, they, uh, that alarm bell. You got to hit bell, the alarm the notifications. bell. That mother effing and situation. Emil, can you let them know what would happen if they didn't oh, subscribe? Oh, you're, you're a little creep if yeah, you don't. Yeah, you're a little yeah. piece of we shit. Don't, mm-hmm. We don't fuck with you. If I you did not subscribe. say it. I'm not they the one that said it. They didn't say it. Nope. I came here. Don't let the say door it on their behalf. Get yeah. your shoulder pad jacket and get out of here. Don't yeah. let the door hit you on the way out. No, I won't. And don't, don't call us. Actually, let the door hit you. 
Yeah, we don't care. The door doesn't like you either. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, okay, so I think we should, like the intro. So we have been in a meal from the Trillionaire Mindset podcast on. This was an idea that was brought to our attention after we tried to piece together what, um, like, if I would be going to jail, like, if we really need to do taxes, so like, a, a lot of people. Perspective, right, yeah. right. But just money. We just, yeah. we just like, sat down and we were like, this could actually benefit us a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, taxes? And yeah. You know well, what? to talk yeah. money, just yeah. money, at all. Money, taxes specifically, I have. Uh, I'm curious. About. You know what the Just best way to get sent to jail for this is is to talk about it publicly on the internet. Yeah. So really, on bring that it, note, really bring it to the attention of the. On IRS. that note, say, I'll start really loose here. Say I've been a really good boy. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. On Something all aspects, me. like I've been good here, I've been good there. Am I going to get audited? Good question. Like I'm a good person. Probably not. right. No. That's not necessarily true. What does it take to be audited? I think it takes, uh, well, because I recently saw that they're actually giving the IRS a lot more money to go after, to audit people, uh-huh. because if they go after a Who's bunch- Who's paying the IRS? Us. Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Which sucks. <laughs> yeah. Congress has to give them the money. Wait, so we have been cutting- We're paying we're Congress paying to pay the IRS? to pay the IRS to come audit us? Yeah. Well, Holy smokes. We're paying taxes so we can- uh, Remember when Obama was like, "Look, we uh, tortured some folks. That's expensive. You know, you gotta, you don't is just it? set up CIA black sites for free. No, you gotta no, no. buy the rags for the waterboarding. <laughs> you gotta buy the boards. You gotta. But those buy are all write offs. Do you think they're paying taxes on those rags? Those are write offs. So sure. the money that I'm getting to do an ad for Venus pube hair removal is going. To torture people? No, probably, yeah. But also like, a lot of like other things. Like a small percentage. No, uh, probably a big percentage. But the, the look, all the things that you know a country does, you got it's got to be paid for. But uh, to answer roads, your question, healthcare, weapon, weapons, weapons, I don't, I don't, war. So two I, of those things don't apply to me already. Which ones? Um, healthcare. Why? Don't have it. You don't have healthcare? Okay. Should I be announcing like all of? No, I think, on? I think that's important to See, know. Like, yeah. I'm not going to have health care in two months because I'll be off my parents. Oh, yeah. What do I do? Get, Get Oscar. Health care, cause I, you, that's a free ad. I have Oscar, and it's cheap. Okay. California. Like $250 there used to be a federal penalty for having no health care. Oh. And now uh, Trump, the Trump administration removed it, but California still has one. What is it? Is it covered California? So we'll <laughs> get a penalty from yeah, California? If you don't carry health coverage uh you will receive a penalty and you okay. have to it's on your it's on his taxes right you got to mm-hmm. say on your taxes whether or Those, not you've like, got you'll put i did not have health care this year and you'll get a penalty. i don't mean to act like such a baby but if you are like working for yourself how the fuck would i know that no one's telling yeah, me exactly. that exactly i had the same issue when i your caller's up it is oh okay. please how's my caller really good okay. wait but i was t- actually about to tell you how good it was yeah okay great <laughs> i want to answer your question though you're only at risk of audit if there are glaring inconsistencies over the years so like if you earned you know fifty thousand dollars one year and then the next year you earned one hundred and twenty thousand let's say and then the next year you're only claiming like oh i only made thirty thousand they're probably anything that would raise a red flag to like Hey, why is this guy like? Why is it jumping around like this? Or why did he make a bunch of money and then this year it's off, but then the next year is up? He's thinking about. But all that's those red so flags. possible with what we do, kind of. Yeah, but I don't know if it's necessarily going to be because of the discrepancy in amounts. I feel like it's like they're like, hold the phone. Where did all this money come from? If he's uh, true, you're, it's, you're, it's you're, like, you're not going to get audited. If you're claiming you made, like, go ahead and 20... knock on. This is there's where we, we we put this wooden table in front of us today okay. for. If you made twenty five thousand dollars a year and you put that you're paying fucking two thousand dollars a month in rent, you've got a car where you've got like a six hundred fifty dollars yeah. lease. They're gonna be like, mm. yeah, okay. And I this have is a question sense. that's kind of related to that. Yeah, hit it. So, if the government and taxes incorporated are telling us to do our taxes to the best of our ability, mm. how are they gonna know if I'm not do- like if I forget like? one or like 10, 1099 forms. Uh How are they going to know that I'm not filing them if I'm saying I'm doing it to the best of my ability? Great question. Thanks, Ben. Every time you get any form that you get, like a 1099, the, the, the entity that issues that 1099 also submits... The same okay, thing. Okay, so, the so, so they're gonna know if you don't. Submit right. Your yes. So I've personally, for me, same question. 
I've moved like three or four times since, like, and so like I have shit oh, going everywhere. All within California, you've moved within I've, California. And then in Texas, I've been in. Oh, yeah. buddy. Okay, wait. That's <laughs> no. That's important. so. That's important. When did you oh live? Oh my in god, Texas? I hear a siren. I'm gonna tell you something very crucial. Cause so okay, when did oh, you live okay. in Texas? Well, my so hang on, really quick, and we may have to cut this just for. Legal. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is going to get you guys audited. This right. episode. No, it's not. No. Uh, okay. Well, I will just say this. This this might pertain to anyone. So, a state like Texas it has no state income tax, right? So, people from high state uh, income taxes, like California, like New York, will escape, try to avoid their state income taxes by claiming out of, say, Nevada or Texas or Florida. And that can run into issues. Because, but you're only going to run into issues from the state. So, like, California might be like, hey, pal, uh, it says that you, uh, you know, you're trying to claim that you live in Nevada. Yeah. But your your ID says that you live in California. So the onus would be on you to prove that you don't live here. So, like, I had a similar issue, but thank God it, it didn't amount to anything. I moved to New York. and Weird flex. Thank you. I moved to New York, but that's also a high tax state, so there's no red flag necessarily uh-huh. being raised. And my tax guy introduced to me the the hellish notion of domicile, where you are domiciled. You Domi- can ho- and, and, and let's dive into that word. I'm just gonna guess what it means. Okay, go. Domicile. Yeah. I'm thinking you're very, all Fifty Shades of you're, Grey. You're very brave, and you're sexually yeah. No, yeah. it's a legal you're term. Bold. It means where you intend to permanently reside. You're gonna let them do the bit. They were gonna oh, guess what I the thought bit they was. Did the bit. See, oh. because, <laughs> domicile. My my brain immediately went to dolphins and how docile they are, oh. and like they they're nice and calm. But then I started thinking about. It, I'm like, this sounds like BDSM. I went to BDSM mm. immediately. Yeah. Wow, Skip that's the dolphins. Yeah. Anyways, oh. can I ask you guys a question real sure. quick? Sure. Yeah. Why do you not have accountants? I, I kind of do. How, how do you kind of have an account? It's my dad's. Okay. So it's yeah, like, that's an accountant. That's an accountant. It's just I don't think he's very familiar with like. The greatest way to not worry about this is to use an account. Right. Yeah. And they're not that expensive. Yeah, it's like 500 bucks. And I've always have saved more than I've spent. I like, was under the impression that would happen with the accountant. Always. I've literally been like oh fuck and i'm gonna get hit with this and then they have some weird thing they're like did you happen to sell a car that was older than 2010 mm-hmm. and i'm like weirdly yes and they're like that's great there's an exemption like you wow know, like and it's amazing yeah see i got clobbered. See, I'm, I'm just i'm just pretty clueless so that's ask the any accountant is for ask any of your friends who have been like cody probably has a great tax guy sure who yeah could get you and once you're covered you're covered yeah Right. We should be doing that. Yeah. And then when the IRS knocks on your door, you say, it wasn't me. It was my creep accounting. Because right. they, are, on the, that they are equally on the hook. Oh. That's so. interesting. I, I need someone that would, I say this all the time, that would go to jail for me. Yeah. yeah. And oh, your yeah. accountant could go to jail for you. I wonder if we have any, Which is nice any like, have a friend in jail. entry level, like, one year post grad people working in the IRS that are like, I'm going to fuck these losers up. I would hope that if the, by virtue of the fact that they're watching or listening, that they would not want to bring you any sort of uh, financial harm. I know. I wonder what kind of loyalty <laughs> one has to our, their employer if the employer is the government. Right. Our group. next episode is going to be from two separate jail cells. <laughs> that would be compelling content. It though. would. It would. It there would. are a lot of like Anna Delvey just did her right. her call her daddy out of out of jail. That's true. Why is she, Why is she in, in jail? jail? Who's that? Did you She's watch a, the really? Anna Delvey? Wow. You should. Inventing Joe? Anna. Actually, don't watch it. It sucked a Oh, ass. oh I thought Anna. you yeah. said the call her daddy girl. Oh, no. Interviewed. She interviewed Anna Delvey. Anna oh. Delvey from jail. Yeah. Oh, big get. Big get. Well, Tons I didn't, of big gets <laughs> recently. Yeah. On I didn't know she was um, available. I think with the right amount of money from oh, for Spotify, Zoom. anyone Zoom. can be available. Oh, okay. She could have probably gotten oh. Epstein on if she wanted True. to. Now, here's a hypothetical. That's a big get tax uh-huh. question let's say someone li- lives in california mm-hmm. is this like you this is a hypothetical okay this is completely well, hypothetical first. again it's a hypothetical okay for sure someone lives in california mm-hmm. their id is in pennsylvania okay and they're registered to vote in boston it's not kind of raising any red flags for well, that person great question. let me person. answer let me answer this I'm is gonna a very let you relax <laughs> It looked I like you were going to go off. I said thing. one thing. I said, that's a specific person. I know. Let me answer. 
<laughs> Let me answer this one. There are many different ways to prove your uh, domicile, which is mm-hmm. basically, yeah, like, uh, like Emil said, it's yeah. the one place where you claim taxes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The country that a person treats as their permanent home or lives in and has a st- substantial connection with. It's kind, of, it? it's kind of loose. There's right. like 15 different criteria or something. I'm pulling that out of my ass. But it's like where your ID is, uh-huh. where you're registered to vote. Uh, but it's like those are certain factors. But if you have... If your apartment is here, if you live here, if you sp- basically, if you spend the place where you spend the most right. time is where you're domiciled right. and where you can back it up. Like, hey, I go to doctor's appointments here. I've got the the podcast. So is true. Here. So, so true. that's you are domiciled in California. OK, basically. that's great news. Wait, but so you, you should a, get your ID. Of and course. Register, yes. you, Th- that person hypothetical. That, that person hypothetical lives person. in yeah. California. That that person votes in Boston, registered to vote. Oh, yeah, Massachusetts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Pennsylvania ID? ID? Pennsylvania. Damn, that is a... Uh, that's fucked up. That's twisted. That's crazy. You know, that person is so... Hey, by the way, I just have to say, I know that this is off kilter because... No, let me answer. <laughs> <laughs> Magic Spoon is some delicious shit. Oh, it's delicious. Hey, they're not paying the trillionaire money. I don't Bleep care. Bleep it out. Bleep it out. I'll do it for free, but I really would like to get them to sponsor the show because I bought that stuff, and it's no joke. It's really good. It's really yeah, good. Consider yourself really sponsored. Good. And there's protein in oh, it. Oh, you there's have protein. A, there's you no can sugar. get us sponsored? I probably Thanks could, yeah. Okay. Hello, guys. We want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Magic Spoon. We're all trying to eat better. Mm-hmm. I am. But healthy breakfast doesn't have to be boring. Magic Spoon has the amazing flavors you love, but without all the bad stuff. Zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, Jack Martin core, (laughs) and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Only 140 calories per serving as well, Connor. It's insane. Uh Uh-huh. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. And with the variety pack, you'll get four four flavors. And those flavors are, are you ready? I'm ready. Cocoa, fruity. Mm. Frosted Yum. and peanut butter. Let's go. I mean, I talk about I talk about mixing the flavors too. Yeah. I feel like not a lot of people understand that we have so much freedom in this country to do so much, and one of those things is to mix the magic spoon flavors well to said. create a flavor that doesn't exist in in this plane of reality. So I mix the cocoa with the peanut butter. We call it the cocoa peanut butter for reasons un- unbeknownst, but it's so good. Thank you, Connor. That is so true. And it's nutritious and. Go to magicspoon.com slash B and C B A N D C to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use a promo code B and C, that's B A N D C, at checkout to save $5 off your order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. That is okay. awesome. Remember, get your next delicious bowl of guilt-free cereal at magicspoon.com slash BNC and use the code BNC to save $5 off. And thank, thank you, you to Magic, Magic Spoon, Spoon for, for sponsoring, sponsoring this, this episode. episode. We're having two separate conversations. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's cool. We're just over here chit-chatting. What man. were you guys talking about? Um, yes. Oh, one thing about the no income tax in... Why? No, I'm not even going to say no, it. No, go. No, what? I'm not going to say it. No, go. You got to make such a big deal. About no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Thing. One thing about the state income tax. When people get all like uppity about, I'm moving to Texas. There's no income tax. They're making it back. Property taxes are insane. You're not better than us because we pay a lot of yeah. income tax. That's it. Uh, do, do you think it all kind of equals out state by state? Yeah. Especially if you Especially are like. Especially if you end up living in like, I don't know. I'm not going to rag on any states. I'll but. shit on Kansas City for a second. Sorry if you live there. No, shit but, on it. Uh, but like the cost of living, I've seen apartments. Like people, I tweeted about this and people were like, fuck you, I love Kansas City. I'm like, cool. You're paying $500 a month for this giant apartment. I'm in one eighth of your apartment, but I can, you know, what can walk you to the beach. Yeah. Not like I ever mm-hmm. would. God forbid I go to the beach in LA. Right. Uh, sooner. That is also a hellhole, though. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's not uh, like it's not like anybody likes it here. No, but it's sunny. I'm I love here. it. I personally love it. Really. Wow. Well, you, but I'm also coming from? from Philly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. And you're from Texas. Texas. This is right. that's where my domicile is. Yeah. So you you are domiciled. Mm-hmm. I'm driving home after this. Yeah. No, you would be he domiciled commutes. here still, though. Let's not get into the nitty okay. gritty of it. But um, oh, Just we be have careful because California, the 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 state tax board of California. Uh, you know they they pay attention to this kind of stuff. So they they do watch Brooke and Connor in their do they really at the IRS building. 
It's a good get. Yeah. So date franchise tax board. Yeah. We state luckily state have franchise a tax board. Exactly. A really great group of editors that are looking out for our best interests because they do want us here next week. Right. Yeah. Hopefully. Um, yeah. we have one question that came in for Ben. Ooh, oh, ooh, that's me. Yeah. Yes. Um, where were you on January 6th, 2021? <laughs> uh, I do not recall, <laughs> but that was a big day. I was with you. Yeah, we but were I can't on the remember east. where we were. I, I know we were on the East Coast because flight. Uh, I remember you know. we were buying a bunch of flags and banners. Yeah. You know what's crazy? George Bush, George Bush Sr. Is dead. Is that he is really? Shit. He's dead that is, that is shit. <laughs> I've been to his house in Kennebunkport, Maine. He was in Dallas when CIA was when um when JFK was killed. He cannot he's, he says he can't remember where he was. Well, he was saying? returning some books. Yeah, I bet. To a depository. I got a question for you. What's a depository? <laughs> it's uh, it's where you go to return the books. Drop the I book guess. in. I don't know. You should, you, no, I, love I was it. thinking it's the weed store. I was thinking it's where you donate sperm. Oh, that's a uh, dispensary. dispensary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a question for you. What <laughs> hit me? I can't. I have been waiting to ask this. Oh, what? Boy. I don't even know. What, what does about. fibula mean? Oh, good question. Oh, great. This is awesome. Um, it is just a word that I like. I genuinely like. I don't have a story. Fibula. No. Yes, you do. Well, Wait, I mean, like it's just the, like the uh... word itself. Like it, it's there's a reason I changed my username, but it's not. But that whole that's a good story. Tell it. Oh yeah, I'll tell the story. Is it your? Is it yeah. the leg bone? Look, and look what I did here. Oh, that. that's your damn. Yours is tiny. Yeah, yours for is our tiny. audio that's listeners how big only. It is. Connor is showing his his tattoo What's of his tibia one? on fibula? his fibula. Oh, that's a stupid one. It's the neighborhood I grew up in. I don't get it's it. It's not stupid. Um, what's the logo? Oh, you yeah. have a damn. Your neighborhood got a logo. I know. Um, Texas. <laughs> Your neighborhood got a logo. My domicile does not have a logo. <laughs> no, mine either. I've never had a logo for my neighborhood. I grew up in El Dorado Park Estates. There was no logo, but it was, and it also wasn't gated, but it sounds nice. El Dorado? El Dorado Park Estates. Good restaurant. Did you ever there. see that movie, The Road to El Dorado? I know no. it, but I've never seen oh, it. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. I would recommend. Um, oh, okay. Okay, fibula. so the, fi- the fibula thing. So, like, my name was my first and last name for the longest time my, on Instagram. And then, like, we used to go to this festival all the time in Austin, ACL, and uh, we were, like, 15, 14, 15, and we'd go, and I had the, like, Justin Bieber hair flip, and to get through the crowd, my friends would run up to me, actually, like they didn't know me, and they'd be like, oh, can we get a picture, can we do, p- p-? like, whatever, and everyone around us would be like, oh, who is that? And they'd be like, oh, he was on Wizards of Waverly Place on Disney Channel, because I looked you, like you every- You were on it? No, I wasn't, but I looked oh. like everybody on the show, and so they'd let us, like, go through, like, VIP, and then I was like, I should get some- followers out of this because people would be like let me follow you on Instagram and my first last name was too long and I was just like I like the word and it was available interesting yeah it I is a cool a good word story. yeah fibula. fibula I'm gonna come up with one for me but you gotta find a, a bo- cochlea Co- that's mm, the smallest I wouldn't do a body part you could be the tibia wait so yeah. I have another question okay can I please see your full head <laughs> yeah I just got a haircut all of them? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen you without a hat. So I went. Seen him with, I've seen him without a hat. Can Can we put on the reflection thing so I can see what I look like? <laughs> <laughs> I just got a haircut. Um, you don't have to if you if you. No, I don't ah! care. Oh, oh my God! What a handsome man! I know. Look at that sandy brown hair. You're always hiding behind the hat. Well, this kind of this was kind of for the look because we were having money guys on. I was trying to give a Jack Dorsey mm, type gotcha. of. Oh yeah. Type of look. I'll, uh, I'll have all my. Life. I was worried you didn't have a top of the head or something. Mm. No, he has no. great hair. He's got great hair. We have Andy the same Brown. barber. Great. He- you guys have the same barber. Mm-hmm. Dan. I should go. You should. He's so lovely. You would love and him. so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Does he know how to cut my hair? He knows how to cut mine. Wow. Oh, yeah. mine's very specific. What are your specific needs? Um. Well, so for example, like when I moved here from New York. I had the same woman cut my hair. Uh-huh. I would just I would just cut my hair. I mean, I only cut it like once a year anyway, right. so I would just whenever I was in town I'd be like, "Can you please give me a cut?" Mm-hmm. So I kind of still do that. I feel like you could ask Dan those that same thing. I don't trust anyone. <laughs> and then you go and it's like, and you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but how much does he charge? Like 50? Okay, that's I oh, pay 60. Leave. You pay 50? Oh. <laughs> he just kind of says what whatever. And then I'll tip to like 70. 
Because sometimes people are like, I know this guy in LA, blah, blah, blah. And then I look no, him Dan up is, and it's like $120 for a haircut. And I'm like. No, Dan is like not very bougie. Ah, okay. But well, it, so it's a great time. I went to Dan two weeks ago. And then I went to this event for Madewell. They just opened a store for men on, on Abbott Kinney. <laughs> I like how you looked at us like, for men? I was like, for men, because it looks like you guys. Oh, know. is it not a men's company? No, they just started men's. They have like two oh. stores, like one in Brooklyn or something. And then it one. sounds like a men's company. Made. Clothes for boys. <laughs> 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 That's Oshkosh Bagosh or thinking of. But they just opened the store and I like went and they were like, oh, you signed up for a haircut. And I was like, I just got a haircut. And I was like, whatever. Like, it, it can't hurt. The guy's like this cool looking, like, bleach platinum hair tattoos oh. all over. And I'm like, I'm not going to say no to him. So I like sat down and I was like, um, I kind of just got a haircut, but if you could clean it up a little bit. I hear that buzz on the back of my head, and I go, okay, well, I'm not going to, I'm certainly not stopping the man with a pair of scissors in his hand from doing whatever he wants. So I let him do whatever he wants. It's, the shortest has been two and a half years, but. Those type of guys give everybody the same haircut. They give them, like, the, just the real tight, and then, like, oh, I'm going to put some pomade in it, and, like, uh-huh. do the it looks, thing. Your hair doesn't look tight. You know the, you know, you know when you go in, <laughs> I don't look tight to you? No. You look tight you look to me, tight pal. To me, dude. Thanks. Uh, that, real freak, uh, real tight. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> oh, um, that, that's just kind of a me and you thing, love, pal. Man. Um, <laughs> you know when the barber or the person that cuts your hair like does it and they do it and you're like, let's effing go. <laughs> like this is what this is me. Like this is what I'm gonna look yeah. like every day. And then you wake up the next day and you're like, how the fuck did he do? That? Did they do that in a good way or a bad? Yeah, way? bad. Like oh, I'll oh, never oh. be able to do what. No, they do no, no. Leave. Never I'd happens. To, yeah, me. I always hate it. Because every go time I go to, actually, I'm not yeah. even going to say her name. Because if I go back to New York and I can't get in because all these clowns know about her, but Creeps. every time I go, she's the absolute best. Oh man! And one time, the first what? What is the problem? Am nothing, I talking nothing. too much? Am I talking too much? <laughs> no, no, I was, on the I show was, where you're supposed I, to talk. I, I, I thought that they were like doing this to like get us back on topic. You're like, so hey, obsessed we, with the thing. <laughs> I love the outline. Even on that show, <laughs> I love the outline. And then we had one episode where you were too, th- and you said, oh, I'm not going to worry about the outline. Yeah, you're right. You're, it's, you're just supposed to talk. Talk about the lady who cut No, because now I don't want to. You get me so frustrated. I want to hear a meal. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like when you're a kid and someone cuts you off. Speaking, and you're like, no, everyone wants to hear but it. But you were saying, I don't want anybody to know about my hair lady i'm not gonna tell him i'm not gonna tell her name i'm not gonna give out her handle speaking of your hair uh-huh. yeah um <laughs> i've been working on diversifying more my investment portfolio uh-huh so what do you think happens after you die after you die yeah nothing it's with just your darkness. money no just like or in general in general i think it's just darkness i think people make too big of a deal about it well i was just thinking you kind of look you're like you're not Jesus. scared of death at all with his hair i wouldn't you know I think that you, people act like you know that you're dead. I, I don't want to go through a long, drawn out like. I don't either. I didn't mean disease. that was just supposed to be like a nice. I'm afraid of. You were doing a bit. And, and to and get out. Of we're here. fully. I'm, af- about- I'm afraid of my health failing. Like that's, yeah, that's a big really fear scary. of like, uh, you know, I'll, I would be very upset. I like that shirt. If that happened. This is nice. Where is this and from? And Connor, I'm. Yeah. Do you see what I have of, to deal with? I can I get a Rolodex. Oh, it's Patagonia. It's Look. really painful. I have wait, wait, wait. No, because I'm going to no. flip the table. I know. I didn't do anything. I'm I mean, I am so I'm honored that intently. you're experiencing. Uh, is anything empty and throwable? <laughs> Emil, please keep telling me about your fear of a painful of a painful health failure. Yeah, it's not worth it. I, I no, no, really, no. We're, we're listening. So we are listening. There's two of them, and I'm going to freak out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, so you're afraid of pain? Like what? No, kind no. Of- why don't you tell Connor about your? He just said, "I'm not because you got." <laughs> You got pissed because I said, oh, I'm going to say something about state income taxes. And you were like, but you're over Let me answer. looking at each other's tags. Well, I'm telling her about losing your, your my health death? failing. I was listening. This is a light and fun I'm podcast. Gonna, I don't think that the, a, I don't think that the after. You has, asked the question. <laughs> I was just moving on. I, you okay. So are, ba- you guys are both. Dead. Okay. Here, here's, here's tone policing. Here's a, here's a, here's a whole thing. For no, me. cause I didn't finish. I'm going to tell Brooke. Thanks. And if I hear one peep, I'm gonna quiet on anything. set while Emil talks about I'm gonna dying. Un- I'm going to unplug my headset. No. And I'm going to run to the restroom. I'll be right back. Oh. No. Are you serious? <laughs> You're serious? No, yeah, cause you got to go. hear it. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. I'll he'll save it. I'll he'll, tell him when, he'll he'll I'll tell him when he comes back. Wait, wait, watch, watch what we're going to do. 
Open up his camera. Text his yeah, ex. Wait, 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 wait. Text his ex. We're just going to rapid fire. And for our audio listeners only, Ben has taken Connor's phone and is rapid firing photos on the device. Okay. I was sitting here and he just said, that's mm-hmm. a nice shirt. You're what kind of shirt is that? And I, I went, do oh, think it was, I do think it was Connor. It's more egregious. I can, I can tell you it, it was, was Emil. It was, it was I can, more egregious. I can vouch for that. Is this what he does to you? Yeah. Well, it's a little. Yeah, I think we both interrupt each other, but I'm my interrupting is coming from a place of trying to like oh, get I a word in rather than like let me right, check your text right, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, for sure. right. So I am sympathetic <laughs> to you, and I'm standing with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I ask a question? No, that, I think it'd be cool. I think, <laughs> Stop. Brooke, have you, do you do any investing? Have you? Uh, do, <laughs> I think I do, Connor. You do? I honestly think so. Okay, is it through your money guy? So what's happened? Ooh. Is that my uncle is now my money guy? Gotcha. And so he, are you Italian? No, okay. I'm Jewish. You got a oh okay. Uh huh. Same thing. Exactly, same thing. Yeah, Jewish same kind on of thing. Jewish on the East Coast. Yeah. Italian. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so my uncle has it, and what he's doing with it is uh, is his business. Wait, is he like a certified? He's I'm a it. he's a oh, finance. Okay, great. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Keep Thank it in you. The, keep it in the family. Keep it in the family. Yeah. Um, Shit. I think it it could be cool. For people that, so I think of investing like gambling, and it's if if I don't think about it like that, it's not fun to me, and I don't really want anything to do with it. Trading is often like gambling. gambling. Investing is not investing. That... I'm not talking like long term. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you're yeah. investing in crap, then it can be a lot like gambling. Because if you invested sure, in a lot there's... of these growth stocks over the last six months, you are fucked. There's a way to invest that's not so very true, risky. Right. And... So can you? Thank you. Can mm-hmm. you dumb it down? Like I bet there's a lot of people here that are listening that are like, I have zero. Like. N- n- no skin in the game. Okay. And, uh, and what I would tell to those people is you're going to want to go to youtube.com slash trillion. We got oh, everything give them, give them, you yeah. need. Give them one little, like, uh, what's an Easter egg as like something that'd be like a, a fun thing to invest in. Here's an Easter egg. Okay. Stealing is, it's scary, but it's not hard. Mm-hmm. And what a lot of people don't I've realize said that. is you can just do it. And oftentimes, what are you talking about? Shoplifting? Yeah, or stealing other things? Huh? Okay. Yeah. I I would I don't advocate. One time we went to I was back for Christmas and we went to a Whole Foods and we were killing time before dinner and, and we were all hungry and you know they're huge and my dad and my brother went off and I just and it was it was winter time I had my big fucking puffer coat with all the pockets. And I stuck a bunch of stuff in my pockets, and then when we really? got out, really, you I can said, steal from Whole Foods now because it's owned by Amazon, right? <laughs> I true. stole one thing one time and cried about it for six days, and it was just one band aid because I had a blister. One, I opened, I went to CVS, opened the box of band aids, took one band aid, and just, left, okay. and then cried about it. I took you a dollar do from my mom's purse, and I cried to her about it. Yeah, I was so, I felt so guilty. I, yeah, the guilt is just, it's not worth it for yeah. me. I have a lot of guilt, but not with. Shoplifting from Mega Corpse. What's your guilt? Um, I have a lot of guilt. What What's something I felt guilty about that you've you've, so you've said, I don't think I've experienced your guilt. You must not be that <laughs> guilty if you can't. I flicked someone off the other day while I was driving. You shouldn't do that, especially in L.A. Oh, you man. never know who you're flipping off. And because he honked mm-hmm. at me, and something about horns that I just that I stand by is I think horns should be regulated. I don't know. I don't know how to word that. I, uh, I don't think everyone should have a horn. Mm. Okay, I think that you should have to take a test, and if you show signs of horniness. psychopathy, <laughs> too much, like a level of horniness would equal psycho. Right. But I think if like you you like this guy you, needs some relief. Yeah, I think like and it pissed me off, and I flicked him off, and he 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 was like, like waved at me, and I was like, wow, I feel like, you know, I could know this person. Right. It was it was right by Dialogue Cafe mm. in West Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Do you have a temper? Me? Yeah. Not really. No. No. Okay. I don't either. But I flicked him I off, and it, I I thought about it. Like I lost sleep about it. I've been getting beeped at a lot recently because I've been so obsessed with picking my like every little inch of my skin in my mirror. Inch of your skin. Just like popping anything, uh, yeah. like and like seeing what's you know, just like every pore. And then when people beep at me, it's just like, babe, I'm busy. You yeah. know, it's okay. like I'm gonna say I'm not on your side. Of oh, the really? I do like when people go when the light is green. For me, it's just like I'm doing something. Sure. Yeah. It's not as bad. When I see someone on their phone, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm right. Like, me too, dog. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> your phone you number? Help me. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty tight being on your phone while you drive. No. I will say. Yeah, it is. 
we've all gotten much better at it. It was quite dangerous in the beginning. Everyone's doing it. Oh, I, I've we're evolving so to better. know how to. Right. I think, yeah. like, especially in LA, if you're going under 10 miles per hour, it's fine. You should legally be allowed to be on your phone. I feel like that's more dangerous. Because when, really? when you're at cruising speed, like, nothing's going to come up. But when I'm like, when I'm doing the 10 miles an hour thing, it's like, oh, someone's going to stop. And that's when I go, oh, sorry, everybody. It's probably more likely to get in an accident, but less likely to kill you. I got in two accidents. Yes. Two accidents at the Long Beach Town Center in and out drive through I was high and not paying attention. Oh, high and driving? I left, yes, and I left my yeah. foot I left my foot off the brake, and I tapped the person in front of me, and it happened on two separate occasions. And on one of the occasions, the woman driving the car tried to claim injury. <gasps> and we How got, dare she? We got her. She said that it gave her whiplash in her neck, and so did her passenger. It exacerbated existing like back issues. There was a whole rigmarole with the Whoa. insurance companies and stuff. And then we got her with one question: How, fa- ma'am, how <laughs> far, how far uh, behind your car do you estimate Mr. Khan's car was? And she said, "I don't know, maybe a foot." And that got her because you could not you could accelerate do you could not accelerate fast enough with twelve inches of space to hit your car with enough force Good to cause point. trauma. And the case was dropped. I Whoa! Think. We specifically said the 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 boats at um at uh, Magic Mountain bump you with more. Yeah, you're, you're ready for it when yeah, I'm on the boats. That's true. Is driving high technically legal? Oh it, no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you get a DUI. That's driving under the influence. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And it's also it. dangerous because pot is so so <clears throat> strong these days. Sure is. Freaking fifty percent THC. Get the fuck out. I was here. getting so much hate last episode because I was talking about how I greened out. What's greening greened out? out? Like blacking out, but with weed. Whoa. Mm, interesting. Which, from my experience, is just like having like a severe panic attack and yeah. also getting oh, yeah. sick. Oh, I feel like because like I like made myself throw up from it. That's they, but they ruined weed. It was such a fun thing yeah and then they legalized i didn't it, know and now it's all that it got just hold on oh. and now it's all made in a see that's you just gotta say just see, just no no i and, get it uh, i get and um <laughs> i can't even remember because it's like i know it's, I mean, tough, I, it's I, like you're in the middle of a the fucking thing stronger, like, oh well actually weed is stronger <laughs> nowadays oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't even enjoy it well it i was, was just gonna say I i've got you emil oh one second i didn't know they made it stronger that's all i was gonna say so i'm gonna tell you what i told my told my preschoolers lock it in your brain (laughs) i have adhd lock thank you thank thank you brooke oh sure Um, he interrupts me sometimes but he gets a free pass i have to stare at the ground and not think Mm -hmm. so i don't lose my one thought that i had yeah i just didn't know that they made it stronger because i remember high school he's just gonna go for it i used to smoke he's just just gonna go for it one hit of my active listening Mm -hmm. this is how conversations go no it's not usually you let Mm -hmm. someone Finish. That was the, the first thought they were. They first were time I've talked in ten minutes. Middle, was just now. Mm-hmm. You let someone finish the thought they were in the middle of. Okay. And it doesn't go well. That person started talking, so we're we're on them now. We do be strong these days, though. <laughs> Emil. It was so fun, and it got legalized, and then all of a sudden they're making it in labs. It's no longer like grown in your uncle's backyard, and they're like, let's just turn the dial up on this, and it sucks. Every time I smoke, I'm like, I feel. Horrible. I'm so scared. Mm-hmm. Don't fucking do it to me. I'm just looking at Don't him. Don't even look at I'm him. I'm just looking at look him. Look at me. Look at me and Brooke. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I always feel like I'm going to shit my pants for right. some reason. It feels horrible. I'm feeling that way too. Have you heard about dad grass though? No, tell me about dad grass. I wouldn't grass. dare sponsor him. If you want that, you got to call what us dad grass. grass. Dad grass is like, a, a lot of companies are doing it. It's intentionally like shitty weed. Which That's is like, my idea. Well, they've already <laughs> beat you Every to time it. I go to the dispensary, I'm like, give me the weakest right. shit you got. So now companies are like specifically Good. marketing themselves as, hey, Good. this will not ruin your night. Yeah. And wow. Like, so great. We don't don't smoke weed though. And this podcast is brought to you by Dadgrass. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're gonna take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, SeatGeek. I just gleeked talking about SeatGeek. SeatGeek. Summer concerts are here, and that means you can get twenty dollars off tickets at SeatGeek with with our promo code B and C B A N D C. If you didn't already know, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We've got the app on our phones. We have it on our phones. We do. Well, let me actually show you while we're while we're at it that I do have the app opening right now currently and there's so many amazing concerts and festivals happening right now you're not going to want to miss out i'm talking the weekend and doja cat and justin bieber and olivia rodrigo and sean mendez one of your good friends yeah i love him to death and so much more 
Um, I am going to Sagecoach. I just bought my Sagecoach oh, really? tickets off of SeatGeek. And it was the it was the best deal that I found online. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. I am about to buy my Olivia Rodrigo tickets via oh. via SeatGeek. Of oh, course, she's, she's just around playing. the corner, actually. SeatGeek I, wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good. Red, obviously, means bad. Horrible. And don't worry, we've got the hookup. Of course, use code BNC for twenty dollars off your tickets at SeatGeek. That's twenty dollars. Connor, how much? How many dollars? You say twenty. How much dollars? How many? 20. 20. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code BNC. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. But getting a little high? Great. Great. We love it. But and I was just like really, people were coming for me because it was 10 milligrams that did it for me. And they were like, mm. if you think if 10 milligrams is going to get you, then like you should not be smoking weed. One time. And this is a long, is it a? No, no why see, don't we're you not interrupting. We're just letting we're just you, actively listening over go. here. So we went to. We, I think we just have more bite-sized thoughts yeah, that yeah, everyone can contribute to it. instead of oh. theories and stories. <laughs> oh, and, go ahead. Sorry for being intellectuals over here. I'm gonna you should be for, sorry. Forgive That's, us. This is not a place for intellectuals. <laughs> Look, you guys get every podcast to talk about your little fucking things. <laughs> Give us one. Little yeah, no, I'm, have a name. Go. I'm just going to nuance. I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> Give us one episode. One. One episode. What were you That's going to say? For. All right. So, uh, okay. So, me and my brother were going to my uncle's wedding in Colorado, and it was pretty soon after they legalized pot. And so, we um, <clears throat> we were like, oh, we got to go to the dispensary when we get there. And so, we did. And then we looked it up, and we were like, we should go to Red Rocks, too. We had never been to Red Rocks. And I was like, oh, my God, the Arctic Monkeys are playing. Let's just get tickets and go. So, on the way, we stop at this, the dispensary, and we get... Um, we each get a cookie and we get some weed to smoke. Mm -hmm. Cookie being an edible. Yes. Sorry for interrupting. No, Continue. that's a great interruption. Great clarifying thank you, question. Thank you for Shows you're actively there. listening. Thank you, Ben. I go to the gym. I'm active. Mm -hmm. We eat the cookies as we get in the car. And then it's like a 45 minute drive. And I remember 15 minutes in, I was like, damn, I feel fucking high. But that's crazy. It never hits this fast. And then five minutes later, my brother goes, I am so high, and he smokes a lot more than me. So I was like, oh, man, this is bad if he's high already. We get to Red Rocks, and it's just like a fucking mess. And I can't even get – I had the tickets in my pocket. I couldn't get them, I get, get them out of my pocket. I was like, please, can you just help me? Like, this is insane. And – we get in there. They're playing. We start walking. Is this boring you? No. No, I'm no. dialed. We start, wa and we're walking towards the stage, and the music is playing. I scream it. I said, enough. I'm not getting any <laughs> closer. This is fucked up. And I was like, I just got to relax. And I looked over at my brother, and he's just like kind of vibing out. And I was like, that's what I got to do. Right. I just got to vibe out. Like, I'll just ride it out. It's going to be all good. And then I, I, I tried to. And then I said, you know what? He actually didn't look so good. And I looked back at over him, and he, and he fainted. Uh-huh. Oh. And I, I, I caught him, and I started dragging him through the crowd, and I was so freaked out. And then I pushed him up against the wall. And I said, wake up. You better wake up or I'm calling an ambulance. He's not waking up. And then he finally opens his eyes, just pukes right in my face. Oh. <laughs> pukes all over me. Like, truly... I let him go. I look down. I'm covered in puke. Every all of my front is covered in puke, and then he just keeps puking. And in between heaves, he's like, "I'm so sorry." Aww. I'm so sorry. Okay. And then he takes that me, is the worst feeling. Takes me to the bathroom, tries to clean me up. He feels great because he puked all right. that shit up, and I'm just sitting there covered in puke, right. trying to watch the Arctic Monkeys. So high. And then we were like, we're, "We're idiots." So the next day, we went back to a dispensary, and we said, "Can we get something just like a little lighter?" Right. And I it's said, "Dad." And I said, "Can I ask you how many milligrams like would you recommend?" eating and she was like oh about like five to ten yeah i said oh that probably explains it and she was like why and i was like because we ate 65 last night and she was like ah, i would be dead okay yeah it was horrible i had 10 on 420 and i had to go lay down in my friend's room because i was so just like beside myself having a panic attack truly thought that the weed was laced with fentanyl mm. and that oh, i no. which i don't think happened That's no i don't think, no, i don't think that happens thought i was dying and then my friends, they were watching a movie and they had paused it, I, which I now know they were changing the channel. But I thought the pause meant that they were calling 911 on me. Uh, and I, I was panicking because I didn't know how I was going to be able to open my mouth and tell the paramedics what was going wrong. In reality, they were just changing the channel. It gives you full on psychosis. Yeah, it was psychosis. Yeah. May I? You may. Oh, please. Thank you, Ben. May I please? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. 
Um, <laughs> so I have a story. Do you want to hear? Give a quick, it to me. I've it's been just waiting. a really quick story, actually. Oh, no, I no, hate. Love. I don't want to silence you. That's not. The I don't want to. I don't want to be like telling a drug story or anything. But it's. I'm going to make it really fast. Like fit, don't. I, don't make it fast. Oh, we just told yeah. two drug stories. Yeah, I think it's keep okay. going. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like 15 years ago, my friends and I went to see Arcade Fire at the UC Berkeley uh, Arena the Bowl Greek. or whatever. The Greek. Thank right. you. And we are all like six feet tall plus. Okay, so it's a bunch class. of us. We're all tall. <laughs> Uh, my friends are major potheads. They rolled a bunch of joints. And we were in the pit, like right there. Arcade fire is right there. They're lighting up these joints throughout the show and blowing it. And the smoke is going like toward the stage. And I remember one of the women, she's like a violin player, gave, and I'm like hyper aware when I'm high. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know about you guys. She gave us the dirtiest look. And then I was just, I felt so small, but I'm so much bigger than everyone around me. And I'm like, oh, fuck. The band hates us. <laughs> and then and then I'm like, look, I like I'm terrified and I turn around and I just see eyes just looking at me. And it was like uh, there was a mom with her like 12 year old behind us. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And my friends are oblivious and they're just still smoking. Then the, the, the concert progresses. And then at one point there was this teenage couple behind us. And they were trying to like shimmy past us and my friends would not let them. And they kept they were still smoking. And I heard I heard the girl say to the boy, she's like, aren't you going to do something? And I heard him go, what do you want me to do? I'm 15. Uh. <laughs> and it made the whole thing great. I just was like, oh, buddy, uh. you, yeah, you are only 15. Uh. There's nothing you can do. I was, what, 19? That's exactly, that's the sentiment that I hate about pot now. Like, I cross a threshold where it's like, oh, I smoke too much, and now everyone hates me. Yeah, try being a tall guy yes. with a giant head in the front dead center, not moving, and you're just, everybody hates you. Yeah, from, uh, I think um, the whole, like, paranoia thing is just, like, when you don't stop thinking, like, your brain would normally stop you at some point. If you were sober, you'd be like, oh, like, I just, like, smoked on that person. Yeah. They're, they're, like, annoyed, whatever. But then you think, and you think, and, like, you think about... The final conclusion, then you overthink that part, and then you mm-hmm. think on that next. It just doesn't stop. It's like hyperactive, which is weird. It almost gives you and my like brain ADHD. goes. My brain goes to death to answer your question oh. from way back. We always bring Circling it back. Circling back, I love mine. That. Mine goes like you'll be stuck like this forever. You got too. a certain strain, and you'll be like this forever, and then you break past that part, and it's like, oh no, it's fine. Like you were an idiot earlier. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. But you know, finally like, comes off, and, you're and like, then you're cracking up. I will literally be high at 9 p.m. and be like, I have to cancel my 1 p.m. appointment for t- in two days because I'm not going to be able to make it. <laughs> I love that. I definitely have had moments where I'm like, I've really smoked myself stupid. And now I don't have any short term memory at all. Yeah. And drugs are bad. <laughs> yeah. They're kind of not Some good. Are pretty great. Though. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. But, you know, true. I think it's I don't think it's anything bad for any. I think. You know, it's person by person. I had someone with my car this morning. Okay. <laughs> totally sober. Tell us. Wait, I think about, you know. You sitting on that this whole time? Yeah, I just remembered. Like an actual person or the yeah, car? Yeah, a person, an individual. Oh, my God. Yeah. I live near, like, a very, like, high traffic walking. I just tapped him. It's kind oh. of it's kind Were of they upset? Was he pissed? No. Like, they were embarrassed that they walked behind me while I was backing out. Oh. Because they were on their phone. Oh. oh. But I also was on my phone. Right. Oh. Double whammy. Yeah. But, um... I have this thing where, like, I have to be this new generation of person against my parents. Like, they do not trust good. Like, they'll be in a city that they've done every single day the same route. And I'm like, just type it in. Because it's my route's changed, like, to West Hollywood every mm-hmm. single time I type it in. Saves me five minutes sometimes. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I feel I like it's all route every time. Same. six of one, half dozen of the other. Um, but what I was going to say is, like, I do the stupidest shit on coffee. Like Wait, what? On yeah, coffee? like 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 I don't drunk text, I don't oh, high text. text. On coffee, I will send like the most humiliating text message of my life before like 10 a.m. because I'm just like on crack. I'll I, drive. I identify with this. I'll drive like pop smoke will come on in the car and I'm like I need to go 112 miles. I need to push like my car to its limits and like weave in and out of traffic. I just become what? like a god. I don't know. I become a god. And then and then I crash and I'm like oh what. Like that was really embarrassing. The like, number one cause of car accidents in Los coffee. Angeles is speeding. Oh, it's coffee probably. It's spe- and speeding probably. I don't drink coffee. coffee. Yeah, why don't you brag about? Really? It? Really? Emil doesn't eat b- fucking meat or drink coffee wow. or he is just his body is a temple, a synagogue. 
Except for chicken sandwiches, fried chicken sandwiches. Booze? Yeah, you like beer. And some drugs occasionally. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't think coffee has ever like had the effect on me that it's supposed to have on people. Like I've never had a cup of coffee and been like, oh, I'm awake. Really? I don't think I've ever done anything and been like, I feel like I have energy or I'm awake. Do you just naturally have it? No, opposite. I feel like I'm naturally just I think exhausted. you have an iron deficiency. No, I don't think so. Probably. Connor loves diagnosing. Maybe you got to drink more of That's it. That's just a fact. I don't think it's iron. I think it's just- You got to so- drink water and stuff. Oh. Like well, even- What? I just am like always <laughs> naturally exhausted. Pot will make you tired. But Do you even sleep? before, yeah. Oh, I need my thirteen hours, or I'm not myself. Thir- is that real? No, uh, okay. but like, I probably go to bed at like eleven thirty midnight, okay. and I'll wake up at eight thirty nine. Oh, like that's a that's great, great. That's great. Yeah, that's a great night's sleep. I love eight or nine and I'm hours. always tired. It's the weed. But even before I started, sm- I just started smoking recently. Oh, even before Do that. Do you drink water? Not. Yeah, yeah, but not a not a lot. I'm obsessed with the stuff. I can't get enough of it. Really? I love Topo Chico. Ugh. There, are, there are people like who are like, like I don't like water. Like something crazy. I don't understand though. it. I don't not like it. I just like it's a chore. I can't. I'm thinking about it, and I want to. Wow. Sleep. I love it so much. Your body really is a temple. Nah, you're glowing. Really? Thank you. That's amazing. But I, I drink a lot of water. I do pee you a lot. Do, yeah, I do pee. Yeah, a lot. I've had to pee for the last 15 minutes. But guess what? I'm holding it in. I love that. Okay, well, I have something that I I think we should talk about, and it's a special time to do it because you guys are here. Like, I talk about it every single time. Okay. We bring up Elon Musk every single time. Oh, it's usually, yeah. yeah. It's usually just me, like, updating people on my thoughts. and. What like, do you think about him? I fucking love him. I think he's a genius. I think he's- Interesting. I okay. think he's I think he's the, the how do I put this, like, the Jesus of, he's, he's, uh, he's come to save us. Hmm. <laughs> ben, you agree? <laughs> no. I mean- <laughs> I, I think that there are things that he's doing that are worthy of um, praise. I think that SpaceX is a necessary thing, especially since they gutted the NASA budget. We've needed a way to stay competitive with Russia and China in terms of our space dominance. Of I do think that having SpaceX has made Elon Musk a little untouchable, and he knows it, and he will do and say anything, including and especially manipulating finance markets and, you know, Making promises, over promising, and under you gotta really dumb it down for. for, I'm understanding. No, for me, it's it's sorry. Basically, my my issue with Elon Musk is that I think that he is a narcissist on a level that rarely gets seen by humanity. And what I mean by that is he has to make himself the main character and insert himself into the popular discourse, whatever the current thing is. And I think that... I see a lot of myself in that. But I think <laughs> that doing... And, and we, all, we all do, right? But like... Not me. The, 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 um, the COVID, he was like, I can solve this. I, I'm, we're going to make send, ventilators. I will send two of the wrong ventilators to two hospitals the, in California. The Thai kids, he's like, I can fix this. I'm going to invent a, a fucking... And if I can't, it's because that I man is a pedophile. Joking, by the way. Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> No, but <laughs> that. <laughs> gonna stop you right there. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, just, I like. I couldn't keep the joke going, and I also like don't want you to be walking on eggshells no. thinking I'm worshiping Elon no, no, Musk. Not at all. I, I'm totally. Listen, I'm not. First of all, even if you did, I'm not that type. Neither of us are that type of person where we'd be like, "Oh, well, <laughs> no, that's great." <laughs> you should have heard him in the car here, though, it, w- when he's alone. Well, because. Well, it, because no, okay, go he, for it. He he is he's an interesting character, and yeah, he um, I we just, would say I would say we're both very like, we're frustrated by confused the, by the absolute love and worship and praise that this man gets. The fans, yeah. yeah. People well, just will. I didn't know he received that. Yeah, no, oh, I mean it's time. like there's you a, must know the meme where it's the. The, Sim- the Simpsons meme where it's a poo behind the counter. There's the guy shooting at him, and Homer is is diving Taking into him. And I'm a not poo, familiar with a that. poo is supposed to be Elon Musk. Homer is weird nerds on the internet. And and dude, uh, wow, great meme description. You have to see it. Would anyone just, be able to I, pull I, up there, the meme? I wish there, you could see it. There's, I wish you know, that too. It's so popular. I thought yeah, at no, some I point know. she'd be like, "Oh, I know which one you're talking about." Right. It's, it's just basically these people will. Die on right. the hill of like Elon Musk can do no wrong. Right. Like yeah. it's he's uh-huh. saving Twitter. He's, he's gonna solve traffic by digging tunnels. Free speech. Right. Free speech. Free speech. Okay. Free speech. 
He's going to solve humanity by sending us to Mars. Even when there's very valid criticism, they're like, no, you suck. Um, I guess I'm just on a different side he's of iron- No, you're very for... There it is. That's the... Uh, Weird nerds. Like valid valid criticism. criticism. They'll do right, anything to right. insulate I am. Uh, yeah, criticism. I can understand that. I'm trying to think of an example of like when this has happened before. Because th- this group just like latches on to... Probably Steve Jobs. But Steve Jobs was different because that. he just oh was so... uh, the Apple love was insane. yeah the Apple yeah that was a very big I that was before my time but like the cult of Steve Jobs was a very 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 big thing like the Apple the Apple fandom still exists and part of it is mm-hmm. because Apple fans much like Tesla fans made fortunes on the very products that they love like made four chans about the. <laughs> that like was good. A, a, got it. a good friend of my mom has made millions of dollars on wow. Apple stock. She bought it when it was like, like in the nineties, and just has, like in the ninety dollars or in the nineteen ninety. No, like in the nineteen nineties. <laughs> okay, but um, fuck, I forgot what I was gonna say. It's because I interrupted you. So it's uh, not, it's... No, it's not because <laughs> of the interruption. It's because of all the weed that has smoked my brain, and I just have the worms crawling around. It. Did you smoke before this? No, 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 no. no, no. no. Why don't you guys tell me some terms? Do you really have to pee? Me? No, Emil. No. Oh, okay. I'm just jittery. Oh, okay. I'm so nervous. Really? I'm sweating. What are you nervous about? Um, you guys. Just the. Oh, yeah. don't be. I I get it. Uh, I have like more. Uh, we have to. We have to go through some more stuff. But I have like one last question, money wise. Uh-huh. Let's do this. So, is building credit really? necessary yes oh yeah Uh, yeah. if you ever want to do anything like own a home i mean even renting uh renting an apartment if you have bad credit like you're just uh, especially in la where it's so competitive there's if you see a place you like there's gonna be a ton of applications and if you're if your credit is below 650 maybe even higher than that they're gonna go nope how do you know what your you guys credit? Mind if I check my yeah. credit score on my app? Really Creditkarma.com Credit Karma. Yeah. is a free way. The, it's free because they sell your information. Oh, but, okay. I mean, that's, I'm fine with that. As long as you're that. above 700, you'll probably find. But everything, if you want to lease or buy a car, if you it it really sucks. It's a fucked up system, and it, I don't like. I don't advocate for that way of doing things. But it's you can't get around it. And also, it's fuck your shit it, up. yeah. The better the better credit you have, the better terms you're going to be able to get on loans mm. and things mm-hmm. like that. But also. Credit card points are just so good. So good. I mean, I've done so much shit with credit card points. I, they're just a miracle. I love them. I have free flights, first class. And I guess that depends on what kind of credit card you have, right? Yeah. The kind of points. You I get. got referral mm-hmm. referral links. If you want them, just DM me, and I'll DM send you ben. some some. Uh, I only get like ten per month or something like that, or some shit. But yeah. Uh, it, it, it's great and once you're hooked you're hooked it kind of sucks because like if I want to book a flight somewhere first right. I'm checking All right, can I get it with my Amex points uh, and then I make a list of which ones and then I, oh can I get it with my Chase points uh, I, I got I don't even it's Hunter, a ghost you want credit card I don't right even now? use yeah I can't I unfortunately won't be reading my credit card <laughs> what is it what is it does it start with a 7 or a 6 6 Oh, buddy, you got to work on that. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Well, let me be honest with you guys. And this is really hard, it's, hard it's for fine. me to say out loud. He's declared bankruptcy. I am declaring bank. No, I uh, I got my credit card, oh, yeah. like my first credit card, post-grad. Like, uh-huh. never had one in college. And then uh, lost it, like, right away. My, mine's lost. Too. And I've never had it since. Okay. And I just it just exists. And I That's have, good. I, have some, I only use my debit card. Oh. oh, wait, did you pay off the balance of that missing credit it's card? It's on automatic payments, and I'm paying all my subscriptions through it, so it's just consistently paying off. Why don't off. you just call them and tell them you need another card? Yeah, I just, they'll, like, don't. They'll, they'll cancel that one. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, it should. But you're fine. You could build that back up. You'll be fine. Yeah, you can build it back up, no problem. You just uh, pay off. But the... start using that credit card and yeah. paying it off. Are you lying through no. those two fake No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, it, you really I have, like, Take 30 me, credit I, cards. I had, I had bad credit. And I rebuilt it. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Pros. There's no one size fits all solution when it comes to hair care, and there never has been. A product that works wonders for curls might make straight hair limp and greasy. We've all been there. Totally. Thanks to my personalized Pros routine, I can honestly say I've never been more in love with my hair. And you're probably, you were probably already thinking how good my hair looks this morning. It does look really good. That's because I used Pros this morning. Jeez. Yes. No, I'm not even joking. Pros makes custom hair care that's effective because it's personal. Using natural ingredients with proven results, Pros customizes every product in your routine from shampoo to supplements. First, 
Pros starts by asking you about you as a person with their in-depth consultation. Pros ask me really unexpected things like, and I can tell you some of the unexpected you things. You donate to charity. You volunteer. Not quite, but good thinking. M- kind of like my diet. Oh. You know, workout routine, etc. Kind of get a feel of my lifestyle so that they could cater to me right. personally. Next, pros analyze all my answers and determine what kind of unique blends and ingredients should be in every product of my custom routine. Together, pros got all my hair goals covered. Um, I'm using the shampoo mm-hmm. and the conditioner. Awesome. Good And combo. I've tried... Conditioner is a new thing for me. Honestly, really? So. Oh my god. Yeah. What you'll notice about my hair today is that see how it's kind of doing a little flip on the sides. I do. That's intentional. As a carbon neutral certified B Corp, Pros is an industry leader in clean and responsible beauty. All their ingredients are sustainably sourced, ethically gathered, and most importantly to me, cruelty free. They're also the first custom beauty brand to go carbon neutral. Whoa, that's big. All right, Greta Thunberg. <laughs> if you're not 100% positive that Pros is the best hair care you've had, they will take the products back, no questions asked. Wow. Pros is the healthy hair regimen with your name all over it. Take your free in-depth hair consultation and get 15% off your first order today. Go to pros.com slash BNC. That's P-R-O-S-E dot com slash B-N-C for your free in-depth hair consultation and 15% off. And I I have always had good credit. We love that about you. Yeah. It's um, like 820 or something like that. Whoa. Yeah, because I got a lot of credit. I have like 20, 20. Got to give credit where credit's due. Very I've, nice. I've always said that. Very nice. That's the way you're. Ca- what most people don't understand is the more credit you have, what does that tell banks? That you are credit worthy. Exactly. If a bank, if you go up to a bank and you go, hey, I want a credit card, and they go, all right, do you have any credit anywhere else? No. They're going to be like, well, then we don't trust you. Oh, don't that's the you. fucked up thing. You pay your shit off and your your score will go down. Like, if you're just, like, leveraged well, to the deal. Well, you're talking about bigger loans. Yeah, like, if you take out a mortgage, right? you'd be like, oh, man, this is going to be fucked. It's going to say I owe so much money. But it goes up. They're like, we love this. We love that you're locked into this and you're making on-time payments. Do you know what else we love? What? We opened up a voicemail link last week. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. And we got a couple voicemails. Ooh. Okay. What are they? What are they? We're going to... Do you want to play them? Can we play one of them? Also, I just want to say really quick before we do these, I listen to a ton of them. Um, let's go shorter whenever we can. Or just move back to emails. My attention yeah. span. Were people sending you long voicemails? I mean, mail? yeah, mm-hmm. like like the individual, I love your enthusiasm and your drive and your effort that right. you put into calling three separate times to continue your story. I can uh, do that. Was there a theme with these ads? Oh, uh, we were asking for people's most embarrassing stories. Oh. But people also just kind of write in whatever sometimes, like yeah. hot takes. I also, there was a lot of like, oh, like I laughed really hard and I peed my pants. Right. I like I was doing this and I peed my pants. Like, peeing your pants is not embarrassing. Right. I've, I've peed my pants probably 45 times in my 20s. Right. <laughs> and I'm not joking. That's not an exaggeration. I don't I believe think. believe you, Val. You've peed your pants what? Probably like 40 times in my 40? 20s. In your 20s? Yeah. That's a like lot. never pee in anywhere. Like, before. like more than in the toilet? Just a little yeah. drip after putting it away? No. I fully like peed the bed. I have an embarrassing story, what? but yeah. hmm, I don't know if I... I'd like to hear it. It's not It's not me. It's. It happened to the person. It was during sex. Uh-huh. Uh, um, I want to hear it. <laughs> what does okay. this have to do with anything? Well, because it's an embarrassing story. But this person... I mean, this happened... Over ten years ago. Oh yeah, my boy was having sex for a decade. <laughs> nobody, That's nobody. Sick. There's no way anybody could possibly know who this person is. I'm not even going to drop a name. Obviously, I mean, right. But <clears throat> uh, we were having sex mm-hmm. in um, in us in in. I don't know if this is you know we were having sex doggy style mm-hmm. in a doggy style position. You know, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's like, go. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, and so, uh, I'm just trying to get a picture of it. Uh, my penis slipped out. And before I knew it, I, you know, went to thrust back and my penis poked her butthole, which prompted her to fart immediately. And then she didn't know how to react. So she tried to laugh it off at first, but it immediately deteriorated into crying. So she went, (laughs) oh, my God. And I was like, oh, (laughs) so I thought, oh, I'm going to pretend like it was me who farted. So I said, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I don't know. <laughs> it must have been the Mexican food we had for dinner. I know. Sorry I farted. And she just kept crying. Did it work? 
I don't remember. I think it was fine. Yeah. Then we both chuckled. Oh, I was waiting for the pee. For some reason, I thought there was going to be pee involved. No, no there's no pee. But now I feel really embarrassed that. telling that story. That's kind of no, no you're fine. don't feel embarrassed. No, because it it just feels very personal. Hey, my penis poked someone's butthole and it made her fart. We could also <laughs> just we could also just cut it. It's, yeah. This happens. This happens all, every time. Ben hears something about like embarrassing stories, and he goes, "I've got a perfect one." And then he tells it, and then on the way home, he's like, "I shouldn't have told that story." <laughs> I liked yeah. it. Yeah. I think it's fine. You liked it? I mean, it was enjoyable to listen to. Okay, thanks. I yeah. think it's fine. I think you're a-okay. I do, too. This is a really safe space, and it'll probably open up a can of Pandora's worms. What is it? <laughs> box. Box. Her what? box. Why no, you tell no, us about- can of Pandora's worms. <laughs> I like that better. For some reason, I was thinking Pandora's box, and I was yeah. like, am I thinking about like sex still? Because you're still- I'm like, Pandora's box, is that like sexual? I don't want to open. Okay. I don't want to open Pandora's box in front of a studio audience. Because the word box. Yeah. I can tell you my embarrassing story if that would Please. help. Please. Is it? Um. Do you fart? No, I don't okay. fart. But I, there is another bodily function involved. Piss. No. Um. Yeah. It must be shit then. Okay, go on. I Vom. this Vom. boy that I had a really big crush on my senior year of high school asked me to drive him home, and I always get really anxious in cars and anxious around him. So it was like a a combo. Ew. Yes. Okay. But well, I don't know about not him. I don't yeah. care about him anymore. But cars, I don't like driving. Mm. Um, and sometimes when I have like a really intense panic attack, I'll throw up. And sure. And I was driving him home and I felt I felt the panic attack coming on, just like being really close to him and in a car combo. And I was like, No, it's five minutes away. Like you are not this is not gonna happen. And then like I I knew it I knew it was coming. So I started kind of like planting the seeds, like, hey, like are you kind of feeling weird from that lunch we had today? Because that just felt, but throwing up from like food felt better than throwing up from a panic attack. From being so, from being so be nervous being of being next to him. And he was like, no, I'm feeling fine. I was like, oh, okay, it's like probably just me or something. Kept going. And then I was like, hey, like, I am just really, really not feeling well. Like, and he was like, are you going to throw up? And I was like, huh? Yeah, probably, maybe, yeah. And so he was like rolling down the window to try to tell the guy next to us who also was in our class to move, like move over so we could get into that lane so we could pull over. And while he was like talking to that guy, window down, I threw up, but like very like casually down my shirt. Lady like. Like very late into, your shirt. into my, I didn't know what else to do. I was driving. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, don't mind me. I'm just going to puke down my shirt. Threw up down my shirt. And I honestly don't think he would have known but he would like looked at me and was like, did, did you throw up? And I was like, um, yeah. And then like I was like in full like, what do I do now? Pulled over, took my shirt off. The only thing I had in my trunk was an open cardigan. <laughs> so I'm like on the side of the road putting on this like open cardigan like with What's my bra. What's open cardigan? Like, just like a cardigan. They're very, that's the cardigan. That's just kind of in now. Yeah. Could have worn that to Coachella. Yeah, but like and the with like puke, et cetera. Like, on your rough. I and then I time. it was so – it was – it was so bad. Uh, um, and then he drove the rest of the way home while I sat in the passenger seat and fully reclined myself. Humiliated. Down, humiliated in my cart again. And then, but he was super nice. He got me a shirt and he was like, do you want to come inside? And I was like, not, not really at this time. And then drove home, walked inside, just like cart again mm -hmm. situation. And then like now it's funny, but at the time I was like, it, life does not get worse and it never will. Yeah. So you still get nervous like that? Um, I've found what happens when good someone gets into my car that makes me nervous. I look at them and I said, "I say I'm not scared of you." And right. Then I do the drive. Right. And I that puts them at ease. I don't puke. I haven't thrown up from that in a really long time, but I, it, it, I'm not. I it could happen again, possibly. I'm not. I'm you get scared when you go on a first date, a like really. Scared. I, I just avoid it. Boring. You just don't. don't yeah. What? I'm just saying. We I'm asking. To spice it up if we get in. I just shared my most vulnerable, embarrassing I just story with you. She goes and on you're going to tell Ben it's boring. And she no, no, no. I said it gets. It? If we can, here's interrupt. what I'll say. First of he all, that's not that eyes. bad. He just rolled his eyes at me. If that's your most embarrassing story, it's not good. I mean, no. it's manageable. You had an open card again. You, your chest is out. It's just like I thought you were going to say fun. you threw up that's in his pretty, mouth. Now they're no, I didn't. I threw up on myself. There was a girl that wrote into the email that said she threw up while down south. 
on a, on a guy. Giving a, a world Which fa- sounds- I would rather that. What? Because this was just like such a vulnerable, like, you make me so nervous that I'm sick. You said- Like, I that is so embarrassing. Now they're questioning how embarrassing your story is, which I'm I think not, is I'm not. Up. I think that that's humiliating. I'm, I'm, I'm not- I'm That's not all I've been wanting from you. I can't believe we're going to sit here and talk about the validity. Well, we were supposed to listen Let's to listen voice. to this voicemail. I, I would rather listen to Brooke, Okay. Wow, I've never heard that from someone on this set. That's really powerful. Thank you, Emil. <laughs> Wait, so no, you, you want to play the voicemail? Let's play the voicemail. <laughs> Let's go Brooke, do it. Brooke, we'll offline about my I trauma. I wanted to know what Brooke was going to tell me about Leah, Michelle, and Jonathan. That's the thing. I came on this right. podcast to learn things. I wanted to tell Emil about Leah, Michelle's vagina, which is... Oh, been, right, right, do that. Well, that's been what I've been seeing on my Twitter. As opposed to, I haven't really heard anything about Elon. Whoa, to what be about honest. her vagina? Is it Do you okay? know who Leah Michelle is? She was on Glee. Yeah, she was on Glee. Emil, I don't think really knew who she was. I didn't know who it was, right. but now it makes sense. So Leah Michelle was the star of Glee. Uh-huh. Um, she is currently, people don't like her now. Why? Because she's notoriously, vi- that's Leah Michelle, very, very hard to work with. Uh. Oh. Has said really like horrible racist comments to people that they Whoa. had come what? out. Well, they, yeah. She Whoa. was fully canceled a few years ago because oh people had come gosh. out and been like, she is racist and horrible and horrible to work with. And that's, so she, before Glee, she was in a musical called Spring Awakening. She's been on Broadway since she was a kid, which is why people think she's illiterate. That's a whole nother thing. People think she never really had the chance hey, to read. been there. That's wow. a whole 40 minute She looks video. like she doesn't know how to read. <laughs> people think that. she doesn't know how to read. That's her best friend, Jonathan, who starred in Spring Awakening with her. Spring Awakening is one of my favorite musicals, and it's now coming out. They're doing a documentary about it where they're singing the songs, talking about behind the scenes anecdotes, whatever, and so have you. Those two, Spring Awakening is about sex, basically kids, teenagers discovering sex. Sexual awakening. Sexual awakening. Spring awakening. Spring. Ah, got it. Okay. okay. And these two have to have sex on stage wow. in Spring Awakening. Oh and they're best God. friends in real life. Mm. Jonathan is gay mm. and does not have, did not at the time have a lot of knowledge about the female anatomy. Sure. So Leah, in the Spring Awakening documentary, revealed that she, <laughs> with a desk lamp, showed him all of her- With a desk lamp? Yeah, with a desk lamp. Elegant. Lamp. Dino vibes. Sh- yeah showed him all of her vagina so that he would have knowledge of the female anatomy sure. for all of their scenes and to really put his heart into the character. That's called method acting. Right. So I guess my question for you is, would you also show Jonathan your vagina if you were Liam Michelle Can in I this situation? Tell, yeah. I'll tell you a story. Please. It's very short, but I dated a, <clears throat> a med student and she um, she had she was so nervous because they were going to have to be doing a, a penis um, inspection mm-hmm. I don't know what, sure. examination and she was like I I said you could do it on me because she was like I don't so thoughtful. know how to you know actually touch it in a way that's like non-sexual right. and, and just be very and so I said you could do it on me and we got in a huge fight over the weekend <laughs> so so we hadn't done it yet so like I'm so pissed. I'm so upset because of the penis exam. No, no, no. Unrelated. Totally unrelated. And then I didn't want to be a jerk, and I was like leaving, and I knew the next day she had to do it, and I was like, "You can still do the penis exam with me." <laughs> and so I just like, well, <laughs> took off my clothes and laid there, just like so fucking pissed. Uh huh. And just let her like, with a desk lamp. It was it was pretty lit up. So you're saying that you would. In this situation, do the same thing. I would show someone my yeah. penis. I've never had a yeah. vagina, but if someone wanted to see my penis, they can see. It. I would also. I would. I would do the same thing. Would you? I'm pretty open about. Yeah, it. people are freaking out about it. What? I think they just like hate Leah Michelle. Mm. But I would do it, and especially Jonathan. It's something interesting is that he's like known as like the sweetest guy in the world, and she's known as like the worst, one of the worst people. So it's really interesting that they're best friends. I think that's usually how it goes. Do you like, think? There's usually like a huge, like mean person in a best friend relationship and then the other person just like good oh okay. i think he's saying you're a good I, person I, and he's i was good. thinking the opposite i have a doctor's oh. story oh. but it's a, it sounds damage. like you guys have this contentious thing where we love each other i don't know what contentious means but i disagree with you. tense oh like uh combative, combative. Almost. sure do you guys want to hear my doctor story yeah. real fast speaking of examining oh. penises sorry no, sure, please. Uh, I, I worked the Long Beach Air Show when I was like 11 years old for some reason. Like my dad's friend had a grill and we worked it. And so we had a bunch of like condiments at home. And I was bored and I was like, I wonder what it looks like if I squirt ketchup into the toilet. And I squirted some ketchup into the toilet and I was what like, it look like? 
the, it looked like I shit blood. Mm-hmm. It looks like shit. <laughs> it looks like blood. So I was like, huh, this will be interesting. Uh, Mom, I shit blood. And um, I said, because it smelled like ketchup in the bathroom. And I was very smart. I said, it smells really bad. You got to like plug your nose. So she <laughs> came in and she looked and she's like, oh my gosh. It's just your stomach hurt. And I was like, a little. And then I'm like, oh man, I'm going to be able to miss so much school. And she goes, she goes, well, let me know if it happens again, honey. And I said, okay. And so I, you know, I took the wrapper and I wrapped she it did, in toilet I paper. I feel like I would have immediately taken you to the hospital. She was, uh, she just, you know, she's a it mom. It was the 70s. Right. It was the 70s. But so I did it again and I did the same trick. I'm like, it really stinks. And <laughs> she, she goes I in and she's preparing her for the ketchup <laughs> She's like, she goes and she looks and she goes, okay, we're taking you to the doctor. And I'm like, fuck yeah. So I'm like, hell yeah, I'm missing school, going to the doctor. And then I get, we get there and the doctor's like, okay, well, pull down your pants. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that, wait, what now? What? That's what they got to do? And he had, me, he had me lay on my side and he had like a college uh, uh, resident doing his residency and the and they both had to look at my little boy butthole. Oh, gee. And it was fine. He he basically was like, this thing is perfect. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> this thing is, I've never seen this. <laughs> I've never seen anything <laughs> like this. Perfect little boy. Man, I've come in here and look at your son's <laughs> asshole. It's stunning. <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, he said, well, there's nothing unusual here. And so I was like, okay, the jig is up. Because if I keep this up, they're going to have to like cut me open. Right. I better just stop. So I actually, I was smart. I was so smart. I like I made it so that it didn't look like I just went right back to perfect health. It was like I would poop and then score a little in. Oh, wow. And be like, "Hey, it's getting better." Cuz my mom was like, "I need to look at your Dude, poop." Dude, you went so deep on this. I, went I would have just stopped. Deep. And then I just stopped like 2 days later and I'm like, "Yeah, I feel totally fine." It Does must she have know been now? A fluke. Did you ever tell her? <laughs> wow. No, I don't think I ever did. We'll send her this I'll episode. Tell her sometime. I'll tell her tonight at dinner. That's a really good story. Is, Is it? it? Yeah. Eh. I like that you were like, "I need to wean off the blood." Yeah. Right. Well, because I didn't want to be too obvious. Like your mom was going to be like, it stopped all of a sudden? Yeah. You got to be careful really about good. these things. I thought it reminds me when I would like try to break, I would try to, I would break, try to break my, my wrist too. so that I could be- What? With, what? Not, I wasn't like hitting it with a hammer. Like I would like fall on purpose right. while like skating and stuff. Yeah. And try to like, so I could go get I a cast. I wanted a cast. A cast. I would have school. friends cough that in my suck. face if they what were sick. What is going on? Oh, really? I'm like, cough. Are you sick? Yeah. Cough. Because you wanted to miss school? Yeah. And they would cough and I would just go- Oh, see, I was scared of getting sick, but it was. Oh, okay. I, I wanted a cast so bad. Don't jump down my throat here, but I feel like staying home from school was worse than going. All your friends are at school, and not also in, you got class to make up. Yeah, not in like a nerdy way. Exactly. Yeah. They're like someone's like, "Oh, we sent your homework home." It's like, f- why? Yeah, I was home during Columbine, homesick. Where were you? Should we play the? I was at home, home and uh, you laughed. <laughs> I was watching. I was like, damn, there's something going on on TV. It was wild. Wow. I remember in, when 9-11 happened, I saw it. I was one of the <gasps> first people to see it in school because in computer class, we had it on the TV. Oh, I thought you meant you actually yeah, were there. Yeah, I thought there. you meant you were there. Well, maybe. Uh, Can you stop grabbing my hand? And then <laughs> the teacher <laughs> quickly turned off the TV and was like, that was weird. And she had just no idea. And she, wow. Do you guys remember 9-11? Yes. Okay. It's my birthday. No way. Yeah. Your birthday's 9-11? I brought cupcakes in you and then gotta start we had a huge that. terrorist attack. Holy shit. So, so they probably thought that you were extra fucked up. They're like, dude, it's not a celebration. Dude, what are you away? doing? I was like bottle service girl with the cupcakes. Oh, in Texas yeah. too. Your yeah. shit would have been... It probably already happened by the time... You still brought the cupcakes. I was at school and then everyone was like, okay, we're all going to go home now. Wow. Okay, you guys, 9-11's happening, <laughs> so everybody, school's canceled. Yeah, they did 9-11, happened. everyone go home. Yeah, it's happening today, right now, in fact. I wow. grew up in New Jersey, so everyone was, and it was like, a lot of people who lived in my town would commute into the city, and uh, no one knew it was happening. Like, everyone wow. was just getting called out of school. Don't they know? Yeah, I'm, it's, it's 9-11. 9/11. Oh, oh. no, I don't know what is that, that is. Is that an original? No, yeah. no, I just remember being the first one to go home during nap time. I was in kindergarten. Nice. I was uh, always, uh, last. always last. Yeah. You were last. I was always not on nine eleven, but I was always last usually. Yeah, usually I am, but my dad worked in New York, and or maybe he didn't then, but I don't know. But he was home for whatever reason. He came and got me. That's good. Whatever. Yeah, that's great. I want to play yeah. one of the voicemails. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, give it to me. This one time, me and my boyfriend were taking a picture together, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm not photogenic." 
obviously fishing for a compliment. And he goes, yeah, I know. And I think about that every single night before I go to bed. That's not embarrassing. That's You're dating a mean person. Right, right. Unless yeah. you guys have that relationship where you tease each other, but it sounds like you were very embarrassed. Right, it doesn't sound it. like teasing. If you felt bad about right. it. Um, I, think it's I guess break up with him. Yeah. If you don't mind. I think it's kind of funny. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Maybe it was a joke. Yeah. I guess we got another one. Okay. We're just going to move on really quickly. Hey, team. My name is Isabella. I'm calling from Sydney, Australia. And Ooh, my hot take down under. is that people who use the word doggo or pupper uh, deserve jail time. Thank you. I Bye. actually have. I, I, you go. Oh, I disagree. You agree? I think so. Okay, so like it was probably like 2016 where that like uh, dog rates dog rates came out, and it was very funny. The Twitter thing, and he created this like dog father new speak, and it was very funny. And then it got so quick and so big, everyone started talking like a baby when they would talk about dogs. Yeah, and I was just like, all right, it's not funny. It was one guy. Yeah, yeah I blocked him on Twitter because I couldn't stand seeing that shit. And wow. he was sending you weird 13 stuff. out of 10 pupper. Pupper Popo. It was very fun when it first yeah, launched. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, then it, now I th- I actually like appreciate because it's a very easy way to avoid someone if they say one thing like that. I'm like, cool, we're the just not going to get along. Yeah. So you would agree that I would give I, think, I, I hate that so much. Yeah. Wait, that wasn't an embarrassing story. It was a hot, it was take. A hot take. Some things are hot takes. We also got another hot take that I want to do. Um, you can tell literally anything you need to know about a person by how they answer the following. Oh, no. Fuck, Mary kill. Ooh, I love Fuck, Mary Kills. Is it me and Ben's parents? Fuck, yeah. Mary Kill, SpongeBob, Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Oh, oh, I would fuck Mr. Krabs, kill Squidward, and marry SpongeBob. Wait, who is it again? SpongeBob, Squidward, Squidward and Mr. Krabs. Is it, remember Handsome Squidward? Because I'll fuck him. Yeah. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. I'll fuck Handsome Squidward, and if that's not an option, kill regular Squidward. No, it's regular Squidward. Okay. You kill him, right? What do you mean? All those He'd be yeah, a terrible yeah, partner. Yeah, yeah, he would be a tentacles? terrible partner. He'd be a terrible partner. He'd be a terrible partner. He'd be in a, a, a very- And a selfish lover. And a selfish lover. I'm married. I don't think so. I think you guys There's are, handsome Squidward. I think you guys are sleeping on Squidward. No, I'll kill him. And I, yeah, fuck Mr. Krabs, marry SpongeBob. You're yeah. fucking Mr. Krabs over Squidward? I'm marrying Mr. Krabs. Yeah. Ooh. For the money. Ooh. For the money. Have you seen how in love he was with Mrs. Puff when he- He was such a good lover to Mrs. Puff. He spoiled her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but those claws, you know, he could snip you right off. You well, you don't have to have snip your hog right off. Intimacy with your your with, well, crustacean you husband. You hope you do. Yeah. Not with the advances in technology that we're experiencing. SpongeBob's gay though, right? I want to be in SpongeBob has a, has a vagina. No. Yeah. He's got I a think su- he... he's got a spussy. Oh, a spussy. Yeah. He's got, he's a, got a lot holes. of holes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Maybe yeah, it should be something to consider. Maybe we should all fuck SpongeBob. <laughs> do, you, do, yeah. do you think that thing be gripping? <laughs> I think that thing be his part. holes. Do your guys' audience ask you guys if those things be hanging? Or Not is me. That, is that an us thing? I haven't I, gotten that question yet. Thing. Yeah. Okay. I'll just answer it in advance. I do wonder what are a little bit what are things that just uh, we get because I was like I take solace in the fact that I'm like maybe they do this to everybody. I ha- we haven't gotten to those things be hanging. Look at this long email. Oh, Come yeah. On, we, we don't wait, even have to get into that. What am I that. using? Trouble? That just cracked me up <laughs> for our visual watchers. Can we bring up that picture? Somebody wrote an embarrassing story, and she was sleeping at a guy's house, and she was sleepwalking, and she had laid out paper towels over every inch of his counter, then filled up all the pots and pans with water. Why? Placed, she was sleepwalking. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought she was going to have pissed all No, the and then uh, put the pots and pans on the soaking wet paper towels, and then he texted her the next morning and, with the picture of all the pots and pans and paper towels and was just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then she also went trying to leave the house, and this is what the email says, got impaled on the fence, and that there was a 911 situation. Aye, aye, aye. But that is embarrassing, oh. I will say. Damn. That's tough. Yeah. Okay, should we wrap up? I think we should just wrap. I know. Well, Ben and Emil, thank you so thank much. Thank you guys for, so much. For Thanks for having us. Thank really, you. this was so fun. I think last, so fun. last question, just wrap up. Sure. Since we were talking about taxes initially, if I've filed for my extension, should I just still do my taxes ASAP? You have to. You have to do them. Uh, the extension, as long as your extension's in, you're good. Just, um, I would recommend going to a tax guy and, I was gonna say, and doing it. Get an accountant. Okay. I just don't get Could that. I still get an accountant after I yeah. file my extension. Yeah. Your extension gives you. <laughs> yeah, you could get them whatever you want. Yeah. Someone named, and I just. It's actually sh- great. You're gonna. It's after tax day. You're gonna get all his attention. Yeah. 
Zach McMahon wrote in a really thoughtful answer and said that, but he did say that you get penalized every day that you don't. Like there is like interest that you have to pay if you don't. Yeah, but it'll be negligible. I mean, uh, it'll be whatever. That's the one current... of my favorite words. Negligible? Oh, I'm adding that to my whatever thing the, too. Yeah. Whatever the current negligible. federal interest rate. What do you are you? Do you like... write down words? Words that I like. Yeah. Words. What do you got on there? Who do you, um? I can't read the one from yesterday. Wait, should we do real quick the words that I don't know? Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, well. Ben just I gave an pee. audible. Okay, he has to pee. But it's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. We can. Co- we can, we can also reconvene. Yeah. At a later date. We both live here. Yeah. You guys will have us back after the way we behave. We can. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. I would like to. Okay, okay. good. Because um, I, I, I like talking money. You guys make some questions. Yeah. I'd like to. I'll talk. We at can you. also okay. talk about other things. Yeah, but. That's an option. What else if is there? If you ain't talking money. What else is there? Leah Michelle's vagina. I'll talk. Oh, yeah. We didn't okay. even talk about musicals, really. No, wait. A, a little bit with Spring Awakening, but not enough. Yeah. Or Lee Ussie. Lee Ussie, yeah. <laughs> of the situation. Yeah, the Liasi. We'll have um, to come back because I really do want to know what some of these words mean so yeah. I can decipher okay. some of these DMs. Okay, or we could always we come will. to you if you'll have us. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and teach you. That could be really we fun. Well, how about this? How about we say we, we ask people to write in questions for us to ask, to ask you on your pod? A sort the, of like Gen Z. A sort of proxy mailbag episode? Yeah. Yeah. Mailbag by proxy. Sure. <clears throat> okay, well, I also have to pee. Um, and to avoid the most embarrassing story, I think we should wrap up. What was that? Because people, like 50 people wrote in about like peeing a little bit. Oh, I'm, I thought I'm that, like, okay. You guys are fine. You, I pee all the time. <laughs> pee is sterile. You could pee anywhere. You could pee on me. Yeah. yeah. I've been just letting it go. And I have. Yeah. Um, um, well, thank you guys so much for listening. Ben and Emil, Trillionaire, po- Trillionaire, Trillionaire Mindset Podcast is also on TMG. Um, thank you guys for coming. That was really fun. Thank, thank you, guys. So Make sure you watch Thank it. you. Thank you. May God bless you. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Email us. Call us. Hit the like button. Hit the like. BNC, leave a review. Make sure you're Instagram. reviewing them five stars only. Go to our yeah. highlight channel, you little creeps. Follow us on everything. You'll have and, to. And follow Trillionaire Mindset Pod. Okay. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. God bless. Rap.